are at our meeting point, the BP on the, I'll call it Melbourne Geelong Road, about halfway along, near Little River. I don't even know what suburb it comes under. Let's get in here and see if the other guys are here. I think we said, what did we say? A $50 fine if you're late. But we're a few minutes early, of course. see who's here and who's not. Looks like there's plenty of people out on the road, so anyway. Oh, there's Scotty, fueling up the V6. <laughs> Clean, look at that, is that cleaning up or what? <laughs> oh, clean, okay, anybody else? Looking for Prados here, not Nissans, not old 60 series. Uh, there's a Prado. That looks like it's ready for action. So we'll go and park near that and we'll see what happens. We've got everyone here letting their tyres down a little bit and the kids having a bit of a play in the mud. All the boys like having a play in the mud, don't they? Anyway. The boys and the toys. Now the toys are going to get in the mud. Hey mate, this is a quick video to ask you, how do you like your KO2s? Yeah, they're good. What did you have on before that? KO1. Oh good, are you happy with them? Yeah. Alright, look at these grippy off-road tyres everyone's got. Gary, how come you got KO2s? Try them. Try them out, yeah. Oh look at these, we got the fun tyres on today. I left my KO2s at home, you'll I want to have some fun. You'll be action like the last video, I'm you'll be an action, the last action hero on this trip. What do we got here? KO2s again, beautiful. He doesn't want to get stuck. Oh, a bit of a mix here. He likes a bit of nice driving on-road and an upgrade for off-road as well. Not bad, yeah. Okay, something different. So we've got, out of six cars, we've got four with KO2s. Bada bing. Check that out, eh?
Anglesey Heath where there's over 100 different bird types of birds and a quarter of Australia's plant species all in one place. It's more diverse than anywhere else in Australia. And there's some uh, clay tracks. You get a bit slippery in the wet. There's some bog holes. There's some whoop de doos and speed humps and jumps and all sorts of things. Really mixed territory. Some car parts there. Mate, you got tow bar on, that's what you need to fix. Have a look at this. <laughs> Take your caravan tow bar full driving. That's the way. That natural diversity, all those different colours of mud, all within a few kilometres. Awesome. Okay, what's going on with this bit of truck here? It's pretty. Uh bit messy hard to tell till we get there so it's kind of like clay it's clay sand kind of a bit of a mix it's quite grippy and some spots are slippery but you can see it hasn't rained for about a week so it's dried up on top a bit It'd be a different story if you uh, came down here after a week of rain in the rain be quite busy on the uh, recovery gear and here we are and it flattens out again a few mozzies floating around So that looked worse than it was. What is next? Oh, getting wheels off the ground. Traction control. This scenery is so diverse, like they say. Unbelievable. Check it out. If I can drive slow and smooth enough for you to have a view. And then we're going to get the sun as we go around the corner anyway, I think. Here where people have been spinning the wheels. Oh, a bit clay on the left. Oh, I didn't want to be there. I'd rather be on the left side. There's a big hole in front of us here. After we get up past those holes, we get to swing it across the left here. And hopefully the clay doesn't take us where it wants us. VFG oh. KO2 is gripped up and took us where we wanted. That's where I suppose the main advantage is of the best off road tyres. Always a compromise, just looking over to our left, a little bit of burnt mace land as well. Must have been a little fire, and down we go.
Sorry, a bit windy, yeah. Look at this. I even got a bit of a fairly new lookout. So you can get guess what this must be a lookout. Look at this scenery. Beautiful. I mean, I know it's not the Kimberleys, but you know, when you're locked in your own state of Mexico, have a look at that. That beautiful open cut mine. That's where they used to pull the brown coal out of uh, Anglesey Power Station. I believe they're not using it anymore. Hopefully we can take our cars in there and have a play around, eh? Bit of a hilly bit. It looks like there's a number of different types of terrain even going down and up this little hill. Stick with us for a few minutes. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get through here. It's a little bit technical. We'll just pick our line a little bit. It's quite traction a bull. Uh, particularly obviously if you've got off-road tires. Even with road tires I think you'd do alright down here. It's quite grippy. As I said, it hasn't rained for about a week, so it might be a different story if it was really wet. So that's down. Anyone that's uh, watched this far, like on my 4x4 Diesel YouTube channel, you get the information by sticking around. So we're in Anglesey Heath, at the back of Anglesey in Victoria. Um, quite a diverse area, as mentioned earlier in the video, perhaps. Here we've got, it's like sand, it's like sandy, granitic sand type thing. You can see the car in front of us, been bouncing up and down, whatever. Um, this is Allardyce track, so A-L-L-A-R-D-Y-C-E, -L -L I believe. Um, don't tell everyone, so like I said, it's only for the people that stuck around. There's a washout on the left side of the track here, it's about four foot deep. We'll make sure there's no more of those as we're driving up, looking around. This is possibly one of, it's not a hard track, but when we say harder tracks, you know, a little bit technical, washed out, this sort of thing, but, you know, Prado's, it's the only thing Prado's eat it up when they're set up right with a, you know, a nice set of tyres and suspension set up with a little bit more travel and all the right springs and bit of clearance and that. Look at that wedge tail eagle maybe up in the sky there, see that? We've got over 100 different varieties of birds here, so not that we've seen a lot today. <laughs> And as I mentioned earlier, yeah, um, there's no other place like it. But we've got a quarter of Australia's, um, all the different species, they're all, a quarter of them are here. So there's a lot here, quite diverse. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but you know, better luck next time. Pretty cool bit of track anyway, good scenery, good driving, without wrecking your car, which is what you want. So if you do live around Melbourne, if you're, now I'm not saying you should go out on your own, but um, 
it's a sort of place that you know you can go and have a bit of a learn I wouldn't you know there's a few tracks that if wet enough or inexperienced you could get into a little bit of trouble so as always you know it's probably not the best idea to go on your own if you need a little bit of unofficial full drive training we've got a little bit of experience in the automotive trade knowing how vehicles work and also driving so uh, we can organize a day for you there depending whether it's one or two or three people or more and how, as to how much it would cost but if you're interested you can make contact using a text message to 0490 261 013 we can run through what all those buttons in your vehicle do and when to use them and obviously all the basics the sorts of things you need to know to try and <coughs> try and keep you out of trouble now some people shouldn't you know they struggle I'm not picking on anyone but some people can't drive so if you can't drive then you shouldn't probably try and drive out here because it can be quite become quite dangerous if you can't drive and then you're trying to extend that to off-road driving you know so have a look at this look at these whoop you do's one after the other <laughs> it's like a motocross track Got some tracks there like that, except they're offset to each other, so like moguls. Pretty cool. Anyway, back up this side of the hill, looks like it um, smooths off a little bit, so we may just, uh, if anything exciting happens, we'll have a little bit more on the end. Testing out the hill descent control. If you wonder what any of the noises are. Never used it before. Don't need to use it. Tried it out on other people's vehicles. Hmm. Usually I've got to say I don't like it. Maybe they've improved it. This is pretty controlled. I'll have to try it in much slippery conditions and see whether I trust it or me more in a second because that was first see what the starting to flatten out so we're going to switch it off anyway and away we go Good track. Wet sloppy here, eh? Not bad. Got a bit of a power line hill here. 
Yeah, it looks like he's gonna make it. Yeah, he's made it, he's up. All right, let's see what this is like and see how we go. Easy enough to say whether it's hard or easy from a distance, but you don't know until you get there. Slippery here, maybe. Get to that top bar, we just stop for five minutes. Jeez, this looks a bit rough. Which side here? Piece of cake, but I had a cake. How you going? Good, thank you. How are you? Good. These things feel like nothing. Oh, I know, mate. It's easier than yeah. a bike and a. <laughs> in and in here. All I'm going to say is Prado's, mate. Eat it up. That's what I thought I'd go here, might be a bit harder, but. <laughs> yeah, that's what I Because everyone's been going there, so. Yeah. This one's the harder line, and it's still easy. This will make it a bit harder, because it's in the hole. Yeah, I still made it. There's a go. Hard work. Didn't even spin. I oh, know. It's <laughs> traction has, isn't it? Highway tires. Who <laughs> was on the quad? Me. Yeah. Yeah. It's harder. Because <laughs> he has to go on ruts. He's got no choice. Yeah. He's back to first, mate. He'll be spinning them. Yeah, second. A little bit more momentum, less wheel spin. Or there, whichever one you want. Oh, I got that one. Woo -hoo! <laughs> there you go, they all made it easy. Where's some hard tracks around here? Pig tent. We are 
Hey mate, how easy is it to pump up those tyres with that? Easy or easy? Easy peasy. What do you do there? Can you tell me what you're doing? Oh, uh, you just have to um, squeeze that and you have to plug it on, onto that and then bang. Okay, do you have to let the button go to check the pressure though? Yes. What's it on? It is on 37.5. Oh, what are you putting it on? 40. Okay, go for it. Good work, thanks.